Hi friends, Susanna here today, and today we're working on two of my favorite things. I love hacks and I love fast sews. So we're gonna combine those and we're gonna do a little fast, fast sew slash hack little tutorial thing today. So let's get started, I'm super excited. <laughs> So what we're doing today is we're going to sew up the Monday morning dress, which is super cute. It's a tank style dress um, with a curved, um, sort of curved hem skirt, gather skirt that goes kind of about, about the knee. Um, it's got a high neck and a low neck. I'm doing the low neck today. And instead of doing my armbands that come with the dress, I'm going to hack them. I'm going to hack the Miami wrap circle sleeves on these. I love the Miami Hack circle sleeves. They're nice and fluttery and they are super easy to sew on and cut. So I wanna show them to you because you can add them to other patterns and I wanna show you just how to do that to add that little extra cuteness to the pattern. If you saw my video of how I created the wrap dress with the Miami wrap top and the wrapped in love skirt, um, I actually ended up adding the circle sleeves to that one and I think it looks super, super gorgeous. But you can add them to a bunch of other patterns. So I'm gonna show you just how to cut them because I know some people have a hard time cutting on the double fold can be a little bit confusing. And then um, I'm gonna show you how to add them on and then we're gonna sew this dress up and I'm gonna show you just how quick and cute this pattern is. Let's start by cutting these beautiful circle sleeves. So I'm gonna grab my fabric and I've already cut up my pattern out of this so that's why it looks so butchered up. I'm going to fold it first, do the first fold. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure that your sleeve is, your sleeve is gonna fit on that first fold. So you put your sleeve on there uh, make sure it doesn't stick out. And then I'm gonna grab right where I finished, make sure that it's gonna fit on this side as well. So right where it ends up, and I'm going to fold my fabric again. So we folded it one way, now we're gonna fold it the other way. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my sleeve. So now I've got two folds right here. I've got one big fold right here. So I'm gonna place my sleeve back on the two folds. So here's the fold, and here's another fold, and I'm gonna place those where it says cut on fold. They're gonna go right at those folds. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cut our sleeve out now. Obviously you can use scissors, but honestly rotary cutters are so helpful for this kind of thing. And that is it. I'm gonna show you what that looks like. And my flutter sleeve is ready to be put onto my dress. Now, with the flutter sleeve, you can go ahead and hem that as you would a circle skirt, because that's essentially what this is, like a little circle skirt for our sleeve. Um, you can hem it, you can actually, um, what do you call it, uh, serge it to give it a raw edge, or you can just leave it raw. Because it's a knit fabric, actually it's French terry, they don't really, I mean, French terry might peel a little tiny bit, but not very much. Sometimes I just go ahead and leave it raw. I don't I don't find that I it bothers me or nothing like that, but if you wanted to, you can go ahead and fold it in and hem it all the way around before you attach it to your dress. All right, let's go ahead and put our dress together and then we'll attach the sleeves. For this dress, I have a front, a back, my neckband, my skirt front and back, and my um, sleeve, my uh, circle sleeves. I also have one set of pockets. So it's like two of them because it's one pocket. I'm going to grab my front and place it right side up on my mat. I'm gonna find my back and place it right on top of it. And sew the shoulders. And we're also going to sew your side seams because this uh, circle sleeve, will be inset. So we are gonna sew the shoulders and the side seams. All right, while we're there, we're also going to go ahead, I'm gonna prep my skirt pockets and I'm gonna prep my neckband. First, I'll grab my neckband and I'm gonna fold it wrong sides together and I'm gonna give it a memory crease. That way when I go to attach it onto my dress, it's easier to fold once it's sewn together. Once I've got that memory crease, I'm gonna open it up and place it right sides together at the short raw edge and sew it together. All right, now prepping the pocket. This is the top of my skirt. The bottom is down up here. I'm gonna grab my pocket and I'm gonna place it right sides together where that straight line is, um, where the pattern tells me to place it. 
and I'm going raw edges, right sides together. Then I'm gonna grab the other, this is the front, I'm gonna grab the back skirt and make sure that I am placing the pocket right sides together at the same spot on the same side. You wanna make sure that they're facing each other. This is the top of both skirts and the bottom because then when you open it, when they're sewn together, we're gonna to open it and we're gonna sew around the edges as we're sewing the side seam, right? So if I have one pocket on one side, on, on this side, and the other one on the other side, then they're not gonna match. It's not gonna be a pocket. It's just gonna be an, uh, a piece of fabric there. So make sure you put them on the right side. So let's go sew that. Alrighty, friends. Okay, so now that I've got it all prepped out, I'm gonna grab my um, bodice. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to attach the sleeves and the neckband. We'll start by the sleeves. So we, my sleeve is already folded right here. I folded it when I was cutting it. So I can go ahead and mark those quarters already. So each little piece right here is a quarter. And then here's my front and back. So when I opened, I have all that, those marks. I'm gonna turn, let me turn my bodice right side out. And here where the arm is, the arm side, I'm gonna grab my sleeve. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it right over that arm side. And I'm gonna match up my quarter points and literally sew them on and you are done with that sleeve. Like That is how easy it is to add these kind of sleeves to anything. You just have to make sure you sew your sides and then you add it on there. Um, these sleeves fit into, you make sure you print the correct size, your size, and they should fit into those arm sides that are sewn on the circle right there. Um, if it doesn't fit, the only thing I could tell you is if it if it's too wide, the arm side, I mean the the gathered sleeve is too big to fit, I would just put in a little bit of a gathering stitch. So most of the Ellie and Mac patterns, they are, they will probably fit one another. They usually fit one another. But if you're using a different pattern top um, and it doesn't fit, then you might have to go up or down depending. Um, what I would do is I would cut out the circle sleeve out of a, um, a fabric that you don't really, care about and then measure it to your new arm side and see if it fits and then if it fits then you can go ahead and add it to that one as well whichever one you got doing now i just quartered my neck i'm gonna go ahead and quarter my neck band and attach it on put it right sides together and i'm gonna do the same for my flutter sleeve my other sleeve my other circle sleeve you don't remember the name. If you saw, and you'll be able to see it again, I got my serger back. It had been uh, being worked on because when I moved, I bumped it against something, or I can't remember if it was I bumped it or when I was sewing, uh, one of my needles broke off and uh, the, it knocked one of the threading tubes out of line. So I needed to get service. So it's been gone for a while. And I had forgotten that when I add, you know, we made that little thread catcher. Um, if you have not seen the video for that, go check that out. We made that little thread catcher. And um, we, I forgotten that every time I put the thread catcher on there, because it's fabric, it makes it slippery underneath. So my serger just like swivels back and forth. So I need to put in some grippy things underneath it so it doesn't do that. So if you're watching the video and my serger's going, you know, like that is why, and I'm going to take care of it. I'm just a big procrastinator, so I'd rather just forget about it and move on until the next time I'm sewing and I'm like, no, I'll fix it one of these days. All right, another thing that we're going to do right now is grab our skirt and we're going to sew those sides together. So here's my one side and I'm gonna grab my other side and I'm gonna put it right sides together and match those outer seams and going around the whole pocket. If you don't have a pocket, you're just gonna go straight just like I'm gonna do it on the other side. Um, if you have two pockets, obviously you'll go around both pockets on both sides. 
once we sew the sleeves on and the sides on, I'm going to go to my sewing machine and use a long basting stitch, which is a long stri straight stitch. Um, my sewing machine, I think, goes all the way to five. I think that's the longest. And I'm going to put it on my waist um, to come back and gather the waist, the width of our bodice, to attach it onto our, scar to our bodice. Um, so let's go do it. Our bodice is done. We're gonna go ahead, how cute are those sleeves? We're going to fold our bodice and match those two side seams and go to the front and back and mark my front and back so I know where I'm gonna attach my skirt. I'm going to do the same for my skirt, match those two side seams and find the front and the, the back. Then I'm going to grab my gathering, my basting stitch and I'm gonna pull my bobbin thread and gather to the width of my bodice. Sometimes I like to tie where they begin and end right here. That way my gathers don't come undone as I'm going to sew them on. Once your gathers are nice and even, we're gonna go ahead and match right sides together, our dress and our skirt, our bodice and our skirt, where we marked those quarter points. So then make sure your gathers are evenly spaced out and clip them together to your bodice. Now we're gonna sew those and then we just have to hem and we're done. If you want a more detailed version of how to sew this dress up, make sure you find our sewing tutorial of the Monday morning dress on our channel and go watch that, um, where I take it a little bit slower than I have on this one and um, give you a better explanation. All right, friends, we are done with this cute dress. Look at those sleeves. I love how they turned out. I just love the Monday morning. Look at that cute um, hemline. Um, I got my one pocket. I love the waisted, the gathered waist. I think it's super adorable and I think this, this um, circle sleeves just add a little cute extra touch. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please comment, like, share, subscribe if you haven't. Let me know if you tried this hack and if you love these sleeves as much as I do. Come find us on Facebook and Instagram so you can share your makes with us. We'd love to see them and we want to be inspired by you. Um, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye!